Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I want to show you what I've been up to for well a lot of videos actually I've been planning this and now it seems like that it, it's kind of working so um, I have been virtualizing servers for a long time and I've actually also had I've rented out server capacity to uh, guys in India that has been doing 3D Studio Max and they had a project and they needed a lot of calls so uh, well they they rendered some capacity in my data center here and I've also wanted to be able to do remote editing and remote 3D Studio Max work um, on the servers so I've been playing around with virtualizing graphics cards and um, well you might have seen some of those videos so now I want to show you what that might look like and for a little project that I think would be able to benefit me so that I could get um, some more work done but with less work <laughs> kind of ish buying somebody else's time right so over here at number 15 that would be oh I'm blinded by the light down here is number 15 and we installed a NVIDIA GRID K1 card in that one many videos ago been playing along with that uh, doing a lot of experimenting and that kind of works three of the four cores works right now and I've installed a Windows Server 2016 just a trial edition so um, no money spent on that I have installed my editing software and I used the when I started it was called Sony Movie Studio 13 Platinum and that is able to use the NVIDIA grid card in there. The whole project is actually that you should be able to remote access that virtual server on the server over here and edit videos and when you're done you should just upload it to YouTube like I usually do but in this way I could load the videos onto the server and have someone else edit the videos and that was kind of one of the things that I was thinking about that would that would be great creators like myself could just upload the, the raw footage to somewhere and someone else could edit them and make a buck or two or three or a lot of money actually on editing video not using a lot of bandwidth um, but we'll we will have a look at that. So let's go to the computer and see um, how this looks from the client side. Here we are at my computer and this is the physical host that has the grid card. We can see that over here. That's not it. There. Yeah. It has the grid card and one of those cores are forwarded to the virtual server here. We can see that if we do some editing, edit it up. We can see that it has the, the NVIDIA grid card right there. I also did some experimenting with putting in a sound card that did not seem to be necessary. So, um, well, I uh, thought I'd write that anyway. So cancel that. So let's see what this looks like from the client. This is the management software for the virtual servers. So if I go and open remote desktop, change the IP number for the server and I'll put this on a port and log into that we get a certificate problem here don't ask me again for this connection and yes so here I have my remote desktop and I have been playing with this so the program is open I do believe that it's not gonna play. Uh, this is a video that I did on this box here. And it runs. Turn off and turn on. So and well it runs fairly good without much delay. So that's not um, that's not that bad actually. But my computer here is running on a, a one gigabit connection to the servers out there and well that's really 
bad example because, well, I'm more or less connected to the server itself. But we could get an idea of how much bandwidth we are actually using. So we can, over here, we can take this server and we can look at the performance of it. And we might just change that to look at the bandwidth, network, real time. And we will just see, just see that server. Apply, okay. So here we have the bandwidth. Um, right now it peaked it quite a lot. So. Let's try and run this. And go back here. Turn off and turn on. So that would be it's the not, router rebooting. It's not oh, your Dell server. Very fast here, <clears throat> if but you're into Dell servers, I, I'm sure you can see the benefits of this. But that's not the only thing this does. So what do we get here? We have a hundred kilobits of data transferred. Let's try and move it to the laptop and, and do it wireless. Okay, I moved over uh, to my laptop here and I haven't connected it to anything besides Wi-Fi. Uh, even I've selected the slow one. Check if you can see Wi-Fi on the screen. There, I'm connected to my Lone Tower Wi-Fi. Uh, I have the G5 version below, but I've connected to the other one. And this uh, also seems to work pretty awesomely. I've thought about that, but nevertheless, I can just press here and it will ask me if I want to turn it on. And it goes on. I guess there is power on the TV. We can power on and off the, the outlets here. The screen resolution is not that great. I'm just going to try and shut this down. Do you want to? Yes. We will just try and start it up again and change the screen resolution to to use full screen. See if that's uh, how that looks. Local resources, display. Um, oh, there's a new app available. Did you know? Shut the fuck up. So let's go full screen. Full screen. Okay, and connect. And I have to log in again. There we are. This looks pretty cool, actually. So, and sometimes when you do this, when you alter the screen resolution, I found that I have to restart the program. So I'll have to shut that down. Yes. In the background here, I'm checking the the CPU load. The program is using the NVIDIA GRID 1 card. I have put it to that down here. Let's just start this project again. It loads the project and it loads all the images from the files and that, that takes just a little bit. And you can also scroll through the film here Decent, decent speed on that, and we can press play. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can do this smart. Maybe I can point the web camera so we can actually see. It seemed to have lost connection there for a little bit. I think it needs to be done loading the images here before it can perform very well. So there it is. That is on. So that's the one where my little. So let's turn on this light. There. And well, it's it's not totally real time. There is a little bit of lag, but I've actually found that mm, I think it's workable now. I think the lag is small enough so that you can actually work with this and i have another test that i want to do because we are still on a pretty good internet connection here i don't know if we can see how fast that is task manager can we see some performance here uh network yeah we we still have pretty good internet yeah i want to try something else be right back 
Okay, I have disconnected Wi-Fi on my computer here, or actually just disconnected from my Playhouse Wi-Fi, and I've set up a personal hotspot on my phone, and it, it does have a 4G connection, so it's it's okay internet on the phone actually, it's not bad, but it's connected right here, Morden's iPhone, right there. So. So I'm gonna be connecting it over the internet this time. So I'm gonna connect to that. It's gonna complain a little bit about this certificate. But it connects and I can kind of edit on this. I have found that it's a bit laggy at first. Gets its own time, it's awesome. So this wasn't actually bad, but Especially, gets its own time. it lags a little bit behind if I zoom in or out. Now I'm, I'm zoomed all the way out, can see the entire project here. I found that it's usually the best. And when it's done loading all the images as it's doing here, it's not bad. Fairly... Uh, awesome. gets it from okay. That was just the time where it did not want to do what I said it should do. Yeah, right now it's of course laggy because I'm showing it. If I zoom in, it tends to be even more laggy. If I press the button, Websites, it's, it pings. there is a little delay. And what I found is if I just let it sit for a little bit and just wait for a little bit, it will stop being laggy and it will run very well for quite some time. It's still laggy. But we can just let it run because I want to show something else. We can see how much bandwidth it uses over here. And it's really not much. The little one down here is data that we are sending back to the server. And the, the bigger one up here is all the data that we are receiving. But it peaks just about uh, just over one megabit per second, and the normal range is down here at about 800 kilobits per second. If I do something crazy like push it up in full screen, like this, it has a lot more trouble doing that. Um, I can't show that right away. Now this screen is not moving much, so it might not be that bad. There, let's see how that looked on the graphs. Yeah, it might look small, but actually it changed the settings up here. So this is 7.7 .7 megabits per second. So we're probably about about two megabit per second, two and a half, where it peaked here. So there is that. Back here, i uh, just minimized the program. We can see the GPU load. And this is where I played with the, had it play. And this is when it was not doing anything. And this was when, uh, now I shut down the program. We can just try and open it up again. Here it is. Let's just have it run. Side, which websites it's, it pings. So if Yahoo is and stop it again, minimize, and we will see that the GPU has done some work. It has actually been using the GPU. That's kind of awesome. It also uses the CPU, but the, I thought the important thing was to see that the GPU was helping with the workload. We are actually able to see the GPU load in real time here and it's using the GPU like 44 to 70 percent. So that is cool. Okay, right now it's actually really responsive. Even over my phone, so that, that's kind of cool. Well, that was a video about what I've been up to for quite a while because I've wanted to have this working for a really long time. If you go back and see some of the first videos I did where I tried and get a 
GPU and a server? Well, this was what I was really after. I wanted to be able to do remote editing on videos. And I think there's a market for it somewhere, so I want to try and see if I can get someone to edit my videos. And I would just have to put them in a folder and a, on a server here and they would be able to log in, edit my videos and they would be ready for upload. Plus my um, upload speed is a lot better here than it is at my apartment in Aarhus. I think I can upload a video here at my playhouse 10 times faster than I can. Maybe even faster than that. Maybe 20 times faster than at my regular apartment in Aarhus. So, well, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna upload these files to the server here and I'm gonna be testing that out and see if I can edit this video um, remotely from home. Just locking into the editing server and, and doing the work. See how that is. So there's a good chance that this video you're watching right now has been edited this way. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.